Hi there, Sagittarius. This is Kim here to do your reading. It's going to be a next 48 hour reading. I hope you're doing really good. Happy May 1st or Beltane or whatever you want to call it. It is uh, ushering in this beautiful summer energy that you're probably even already feeling. Woo. And I am pulling from the Sacred Rebels Oracle, which is already wanting to talk to you. Saggies, what is already with you? Oh, it's about, so that's about your belief. And I see the flower of life design there, the, the geometry, sacred geometry, meaning like the design is already there. The blueprint for what you're wanting, already there. Um, <clears throat> shock of the new and the power of attraction. Okay, again, I'm getting belief. Something is a lot about beliefs. I hope you like the flowers I picked for you all today. My little cherub. I didn't even introduce. My mom is in the picture. That's my angel on the other side helping as well as, of course, your angel's divine source that we connect with. Music is really coming through. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at the book. And I'm going to pull another candle out because I have a feeling we might have to light another one. So this is the book and uh, that came with the deck, Alana Fairchild, Sacred Rebels Oracle. Um, so that she gets the credit for this here. Each card has like a few messages as to why it came out for you. So <clears throat> let's go with number six first. And I'm noticing, um, hmm. There's something really multidimensional about this shock of the new. Okay, so it says, what wild, unconventional voice is calling to you? So unusual, it might be even hard for like, you to decipher what it's about. Um, it, let me paraphrase. It says that, wow, there is a breakthrough that you're about to experience that will totally shock you into the new. <laughs> it's going to be strange at first. But following whatever this guidance is for yourself, what whatever is coming to you that is odd, different, unusual, or just it is your own way. Um, <clears throat> wow. It's going to give you a lot of freedom, set you free, giving you a lot of liberate. It may be talking about liberation from doing things you don't like to do. Um nature never shies away from strange beauty it says how beautiful direct quote nature shies never shies away from strange beauty oh how pretty you're being asked to surrender any fear you may have of being seen as exotic unusual eccentric or bizarre which of course there's nothing wrong with those energy in fact there's everything right with those energies i think that might be a lot about me and just how I've always felt since a child. Maybe you've always felt that way too. All right, so <clears throat> make peace with the strange and beautiful, it says. Um, be prepared to have your fixed ideas shifted and beliefs questioned and, and rearranged and all of that great stuff. It says this oracle comes with a special message for you. There are rumblings and stirrings of the creative life force right now. There's a big shift and a birth of, well, the birth of something new for you. <clears throat> Don't be nervous if the rumble of change turns into a mighty roar that the rock boats, that rocks boats, <laughs> that rock boats, that rocks boats burst forth as novel ideas and changes things that are out of your control that just seem to change with it oh look she's got one green eye and one brown eye or one hazel colored eye and one i guess i don't know i see that's like a honey or a brown so the oracle of the shock of the news says the old way is on its way out <clears throat> you're about to encounter something new and different in your life don't reject it no matter how small or insignificant or how powerful and life-changing it might seem you're being asked to dispense with your reliance on the past 
Yeah, and using new tools to navigate. Hmm. Bizarre. I like embracing the bizarre. Isn't there a rapper named Bizarre? I think there is. I think there is. <clears throat> okay, then I have 13, the power of attraction. Ugh. Again, there's something that is a wonder awaiting for you, beautiful adventures, magic that you have yet to see. It's about entering a time of fertility. You're a big soul with big dreams. It wants you to really believe in this power to manifest whatever and attract big things to you right um hmm. it says so if you've just taken something on and you would rather and it has decent results but you'd rather see some bigger results than just hang in there whether that be a new relationship or a new creative venture if it's something that you love and it is actually making some progress some then know that you are doing well, especially just embracing this creativity. So it says you have recently completed a cycle or a level of manifestation and you're transitioning into the next level of experience. I love that. You're gonna attract whatever you need to complete your work in progress and bring it to fruition. So do not worry. And this might be something that is yet to begun or to begin, yet to begin. Trust in the unfolding. Trust in the unfolding. Okay. I'm going to use my little tiny tarot. Like real tiny, guys. <laughs> like real. Okay, we'll get one for that one. Um, we'll get one for that one. <clears throat> Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Look how tiny it is. Oh my God, I love it. I love it. Ten of Pentacles. And it might literally be saying that like this might look like something small at first, but it's going to turn in to your Ten of Pentacles. Generational wealth, um, prosperity, good, established, healthy connections here. Oh, I love it. I love it. And then, oh, the Knight of Wands, because this is like that other it feels like another person somebody that is going to be really um moved by what you're doing or like like wants to be passionate about what you're doing too and would like to move something forward with you if this is your energy it's about something speeding up and you knowing what direction you want to go to this could be somebody that ends up being a very significant character in your life. Like once you meet this person, it's like they, they will always be in your life somehow. This is very passionate, good connection here. <clears throat> Knight of Wands. And that's it. So the shock of the new, it's going to bring wealth and money to you. Saji, you have the Knight of Wands being your own energy and maybe that Virgo energy with the... Um, Ten of Pentacles, but we don't get hung up on signs, but definitely when you're showing up in your own <clears throat> reading, that's significant. So let's pull from the Wisdom of the Oracle, a very trusty deck from a long time ago. What? 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 You're going to feel so blessed. Goodness. You are going to feel so blessed. Number 22 with the shock of the new here for you. You're going to be like, does it get any better? <laughs> I'm serious. And it's going to be because of something that's done different. Very different outside of the norm. And it's going to work for you and give new avenues towards uh, for other people to use too. Let's pull this one. Oh, the Knight of Pentacles, and you can bet that it that that book when it was saying if something's starting off slowly, just know, and I'm telling you, we're, well, we are eternal beings, but in this body, slowly to, you know, for an eternity, for us, it can feel like a few years, a couple of years is like, oh, this is way too slow, but just have faith here that whatever this is. Whatever you're creating, whatever kind of offers are coming your way, <clears throat> especially those for, 
for collaboration with a shared vision is what I'm really picking up. Um, it's going to be successful. Let me get some coffee and water. Hang on. Coffee first. <laughs> better so slow and steady wins the race virgo's energy again <clears throat> a change in the wind oh, a change in the wind this hasn't come yet it will and by the book in the reverse yep doing something really really different a change in the wind there's no conflict associated with this i don't think i don't think Oh, why is that there? Okay, let me get another one. Five of Cups. And Judgment. A new path opening up. you got to forgive yourself for past mistakes. You have to forgive yourself for the past disappointments. Because they all led you to this place. This point where now you're aligned with like the most you can have. A completion. The most you can have... Um, being able to help everybody else too <clears throat> so the path is going to be open this is the path just for you you will feel extremely blessed i need more information on this you gave me maybe that's the one thing that can get in the way of a change is being hell-bent on clinging to those past mistakes when something else is wanting to come in energy-wise for you. Hmm. Let me get an animal spirit, please, for this change in the wind. <clears throat> the way that it came out. I feel like you've not even had th this energy is like it's there. What you want wants you. Is it discovered? Is it realized? Or are you in your emotions about something so much that it's possibly preventing uh, something from coming in as quick? Or taking away your focus with the hawk? It could have to do with your focus. So being really focused is going to be important on a new chapter, a new cycle. Um, this is like Kundalini energy rising, sacral chakra energy with the sea serpent. It's really um, that energy that's saying this is completely new. This energy that you're going to feel, not only is there the Ouroboro, like the new cycle, right? But it's a whole new season of feeling energy different. This could be like a kundalini type energy that would, would feel like a shock or just feel very, very different to you. <clears throat> oh, okay. What do I have? Not my little tiny tail. Look, oh my gosh. The one uh, animal spirit that is really associated with a lot of uh, genius ideas and abundance, 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 having plenty is here. The buffalo, the buffalo definitely wanting to come out here by hitting that ten of pentacles to let you know you're about to be very abundant. If that's what you were worried about, prosperity, oh, it's coming. You're about to feel very blessed. Don't lose your focus like that hawk have the whale it's good it's taking a deep dive at going into the depths of some very emotional things but remember the whale always comes up there to the top sees the light it's a majestic a majestic um animal and then i have the fire ant yeah okay these are the naysayers that are gonna say that something is bizarre or too strange for them but you know it doesn't matter. They don't matter. <laughs> they don't matter when it comes to this. Nothing's going to stop this. What about these fire ant people? Hmm. They're holding on to some kind of fear. The fire ant people. Maybe not as brave as you. As to uh, the fact that you're okay with standing out. Being a little different. 
maybe being a, looked at like the zebra here as eccentric. And that might really threaten people, actually, that you're so comfortable with taking, like the vulture spirit, taking what was left, taking what was um, on the ground, done with, decayed, breaking down, and then making use of it, using it to sustain your next project, which leads you uh, to some really big elevation, I'm telling you. Watch out for these octopus. Oh, you know what I'm getting to? <laughs> the, so the octopus underneath that power of attraction it feels like you've got a lot of people wanting to get their hands on you or wanting to be touchy feely with you that's possible with the octopus but you need to keep your focus on your work so there are energies that could be far reaching to try to um kind of mess with your talents or pull you into different things different dramas that maybe you don't need <clears throat> and then somebody could be really touchy feely. Hmm. So give us more information on the new, the new cycle. So the chances are that you're attracting probably more people than you know or more energies than you know. Judgment could be a big announcement as you leave something behind that you were maybe disappointed in. And now this is like the journey into something different, you know, with the journey card. Maybe this is the journey. It's the journey of taking something that an experience that is not wasted and turning it into your great idea, your abundance blessing to other people but now is it's going to be what you endured could be a blessing to other people too as whatever you say whatever advice you give whatever it is that you do the journey could be that you helping others to avoid some of the pain that you had to have or that you you know went through i say had to have because i feel like it's part of your uh, mission in a sense, to experience something rather extreme. <clears throat> but your <clears throat> goodness, hang on. <clears throat> the journey, all the bags, right? All the journey, the journey, the main mail is coming out. The journey, the main mail. <clears throat> I need some honey, I think. Official person? Hmm, but the way it is, I'm just coming across as like somebody is hiding who they really are, or you have a very powerful friend on your side with the official person that might share this big, bold vision that you have oh thief okay so i don't know what kind of uh what kind of thief there's all kinds of thieves but this vulture says nothing is wasted even an experience that you may have had with the thief card um with doing things out of fear or taking something out of fear i feel like this is a past energy and so it's almost like a how dare you turn something like that such dark energy into something really big that's that's kind of like ridiculous talking right because change is beautiful um it's anybody that really can't understand or see your change or appreciate your change they're just kind of like stopping your progress at that point so we just wouldn't listen to them um <clears throat> alternatively there could be an energy that's like literally saying i want to steal you away let me put my octopus <laughs> never mind I'm, I'm gonna end up saying something that just doesn't sound right <laughs> so like wants to get wants to take you from a not so great situation that's possible or help you help you with this journey help you with this travel um, yeah the change help you move <laughs> there's a little fairy moving her little house it's a gazebo but you also have and then you have the directions right 
up there. And now you have the change card with the little old car. And it looks like it has a bunch of furniture on it. Like there's a move towards more abundance. Towards more abundance. And then I have the wealthy man. There's a connection. Like I said, there's a connection. There's a powerful friend, an ally. This could be you. I mean, if you resonate to this, because look, whatever this is that's new that you're bringing in, I don't know how I could really say it any different. This energy is um, is beautiful. It is beautiful because it's the action needed towards this material wealth, this generational increase. Oh, might have to, may, uh, this is, okay, whatever this stuff was, or this darker energy, it end. It ends. There is an ending. It can be a bad influence on you, too, or an influence that's ending, or the old you that's ending with the Ten of Swords. It's something that you no longer have to think about because the worst is, like, in the past when you get that energy. Let's pull another one for the Thief. The lover's energy. The lover's energy. Hmm. At one time, that could have been a partner, or a steal. That what did I say? Taking you, taking you, steal you away, move you away, steal you away. That energy could be very pertinent to this. Tell me more about the change then. Steal you away. It's, you'll have it, okay, four swords. So after a time of contemplation and healing, this is where you really get some rest. I don't know what you've been dealing with that's been very stressful. But when you get the four of swords, there's a lot of healing and rest and renewal and recovery. And it feels like maybe for a very long time, Something that just felt like it would never end with the Ten of Swords was on your mind because it would never end. And then here's this change where you finally get to rest a little bit because you're going to be so blessed. Oh, so blessed. Tell me about um, the journey. <clears throat> the Eight of... The eight, look how tiny, oh, I love it. The Eight of Wands. So the Eight of Wands is a good communication moving you forward. Good news. <clears throat> Sometimes this is Cupid's arrow because it's um, an energy that will inspire you to take action in a certain direction that provides like positive movement forward. I feel like it has something to do with an announcement, too, also. So that could be Cupid's arrow. Tell me more about the um, main mail. The Ace of Pentacles. So, like I said, there is an energy that wants to offer a solid gift from them. A gift, um, almost it'll seem like it's from the universe, in a way. It's a gift of uh things being safe secure feeling for you <clears throat> financial opportunity if you keep your focus what about the official person then okay i've got two i have the star and the three of wands this is the journey and you're gonna because somebody really recognizes your star quality the star value this is the journey of your visual visualizations coming true watching your steps come in and these energies want to help i don't know if this is the same what about the wealthy man i'm sorry i got one for the wealthy man here we go oh goodness the three of swords wanting to come in and steal you away <laughs> maybe maybe give me something else Justice, partnership, true partnership, truth, clarity, justice, bringing truth and clarity to a situation that was maybe kind of heartbreaking regarding your partnerships. All right, now we got so many individuals here. I don't know if they're the same people or not. Tell me more about Three of Swords and Justice. 
partnership. A letter? Yeah, I have a letter. And I have the journey. Again, the journey card, number 10. There's just a train here and there is a, oh, and there is a boat or a sailboat here. So it's almost like wherever this journey is, whatever it is, you may have two modes or different types of transportation to get you to where you're going. You could, could be going somewhere rather far. <clears throat> or it's metaphorical, like it's 1010, it's time for this journey. So you're getting a letter of great change, a big offer, big. Are these the same people, your spirit, main male, an official person? Making you an official person with the star, it is the journey to like your own um, rise. Court, something being official or going to the courthouse to get married possibly or official documents. Making something official could be just referenced by that court. The vulture, the ten of swords, comes with the clouds energy. I don't know what it was, but there was a energy at the time that was clouding your vision as to what was good for you, what wasn't. But again, it's part of this experience that led you to this point. I have a woman, 29. An extra main character, so woman, main male. Could be a legal issue that's just kind of solved. Oh, nice. I have the heart. Being really brave, the heart being open. Maybe being wounded at one time, but this is like a new start in something loving, should you choose to be open to it. Marriage card. And then I have change, again, change, two changes, a letter regarding change, nine, nine, letting go of the past. And also you have the fish in the water there um, in a like, school of fish. There's a like child, a new beginning, but there's also going to be like more exposure to not just exposure, um, affluence, wealth, wealth resources for yourself. For whatever this is, look, this the offer. The bouquet, the offer, after you had been through some kind of really hard situation. 999, you might want to look up 999. You're in somebody's thoughts at this time. Somebody's deep in their thoughts trying to figure out, trying to figure out something. And there's the book. So there's thoughts that are hidden from you, basically. Thoughts that are about you, for you, and about maybe even offering uh, offering something up. That's giving secret admirer vibes off of it. Something being proposed to you through this letter. Also, an ending coming out. Like I said, that that um, three of the three of swords is that ending with um, ties to the confusion, um, ties to a not so great energy, like an ending for that. Now, if this is not a new beginning, by the way, that child can be an actual, it can actually be a child. And then there's the rich gent again. Blessed. Rich gent. Another child energy. Another new beginning energy. Getting out in the garden and socializing healing this is healing all right so what are the, what is the child can you clarify the child energy for us too please ace of cups the new beginning the new loving beginning could be a spirit child what about the rich gent here with the change in the proposed what is being proposed um, to help you with an ending to assist you with an ending you've manifested this energy and they feel like they have manifested you too with the magician you are truly blessed that's what i got such and i didn't even have wealth here on the bottom too number 11 is some kind of mastery wow <clears throat> oh, wow okay so i'm gonna pull an oracle of genetic gifts just to see 
what kind of gifts um, Spirit wants to close out the reading with to let you know about, either to confirm a gift, a spiritual gift, or to let you know, hey, you need to do more research on this for yourself. So, love begins. Love begins. Shaman X Twitter platform. Something being proposed, look, and then that four of um, wands in the reverse is, is helping you close something out and making a big move. That's why I didn't go over the endings too much because I think I think that is, is what, what we're maybe trying to let go of from our past. YouTube platform, spiritual callings, indigo child, delta generation, born between 1988 and 1998. AKA Rainbow Children, it says, I am maternal child, spiritual gifts, wisdom, and inheritance from the mother's line. The mother's line. Another indigo child, Alpha Generation, born between 1958 and 1968. There's your sign. <laughs> and I have empath, an extremely sensitive person, feels another's emotions, and it's really coming out very strongly. On top of the Indigo Child, 1988 to 1998 empath. But, I mean, I'm sure that's probably that energy, too. If you're watching this, it's probably your energy also. B for blogger platform, employee spiritual services. F, Facebook platform, spiritual posts and activities. I also have tarot card reader, healer, teacher, guidance, and spiritual knowledge. And let's not forget life path number three, the communicator ruling planet Jupiter. It's communication, but it's also expansion. And for you, it's going to be like a shock of the new. There's going to be something maybe bizarre that you create. Make sure you're looking at your um, angel signs and synchronicities so that they can send you more. The more I started um, really diving into my dreams and taking what messages I was getting and, and making a conscious effort to like apply it into that very next day. Um, I started getting a lot of synchronicities and, and more messages were, are coming now in my dreams because uh, of being very conscious of applying it. I don't know if that's something for you too. Might be. Such as like certain names, people, um, things like that. <clears throat> seven, seven, seven. What a lucky number. Your purpose flows from within you and everything that is unfolding or being revealed to you is part of your purpose. A state of peace and calmness in your soul. I am in flow. Seven, seven, seven. And then, wow, nine, nine, nine. Thank the past for your lessons. Leave it where it belongs so that you can make the best of a life that is still waiting to be fulfilled by only you. I am unique. And 30 on the bottom saying that you're very imaginative. Of course, you're coming up with strange and unusual ways to uh, bring in the new. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's what I've got for you guys in the description box is how you can get a private reading if you need one. And like and subscribe if you did like it. 3333 was on the counter when I looked up. So sending you lots of love. Bye-bye.